when you purchase an item, especially if it is an expensive item, it comes with a manual that explains how to use it and also how to maintain it so that you can enjoy it for a long time. Well, marriage is no different. Jehovah God created it and provided all of those who choose to enter into this arrangement with advice. So if you want to be happy, have a loving and lasting uh, marriage, continue to put trust in Jehovah's guidance and advice that you find in the Bible. From this day on, you become one flesh. Team J and J. And you gotta remember, there's no I in team. You have to work together. God has assigned you a dignified role as a helper to your husband. You are his complement. If you apply these counsels, not only would you be a deeply loved wife, but also you will be able to contribute to making your home a pleasant and a happy one. <laughs> You're looking good. No way. The gift is coming. Oh my God, man. I don't want to mess up you. Oh, I love you. You look so beautiful. Oh, my God. I'm a little cry. Not yet. You are You look gorgeous. <laughs> can, I, can I kiss you now? <laughs> I'm still happy. <laughs>
is why man will leave his father and his mother and he will stick to his wife. And they will become one flesh. Have you ever used crazy glue before? Have you ever managed to get that crazy glue between two fingers? Those two fingers instantly became one, didn't they? Starting today, the two of you, in Jehovah's eyes, are crazy glued together. Ephesians 5.25, it says, Husbands, continue loving your wives, just as the Christ also loved the congregation and gave himself up for it. These verses encourage you to follow Christ's example. It's a new role for you, but Jehovah is there to help you if you rely on him. He was mild-tempered. He was unselfish and put others first. So what a great example for us to follow. Do you, Jose Jason Polanco, in the presence of Jehovah God and these witnesses, take Jessica Dagger, to be your wedded wife for as long as you both may live? I do. Do you, Jessica Dagger, take Jose Jason Polanco to be your wedded husband for as long as you both may live? I do. So it is uh, my happy pleasure to introduce to this marriage gathering brother and sister Jose and Jessica Polanco. What quality will help your marriage to be a lasting and enduring one? Well, the answer is simple. Cultivating love. Colossians chapter 3. Notice what verse 12 says. Clothe yourself with the tender affections of compassion, kindness, humility, mildness, and patience. But aside all these things, clothe yourself with love, for it's a perfect bond of union. As verse 14 states, clothing yourself with love will make a perfect bond of union. As a man, sometimes we have a macho attitude, right? I don't cry, even though I did see you cry. 
But as a family head, Jose, Jessica will look to you for emotional support. You are her new shoulder to cry on. You are to treat Jessica as Jehovah wants you to treat her. She is your equal, your complement, your partner. I'm sure over the course of the courtship, you guys have shared flowers, gifts, texts, phone calls, and who knows what else. Do not stop. Set aside time to talk together, to really listen to each other. If you both take heed of the counsel you have received from the creator of marriage, love will strengthen your marriage because love never fails.